This is the heart of our story. Golu and Raji, brother and sister. And this was their whole world. This one small carnival. The other performers were their friends, their only family. This was home. On that day before their performance, Raji took her brother aside. "Did you forget little brother?" she asked him. And she tied a rakhi to his hand. for it was the feast of rakshabandhan although it was a feast day they still had coins to earn so raji walked on tight ropes and tumbled for the crowd while golu told his puppet tales of ancient times when demons walked the lands a long long time ago a demon did penance for showing such devotion brahma blessed him with immortality and a mighty weapon of all upon receiving he united the demons to wage a war bhumi devi urged him to stop he killed her ruthlessly without thought this angered shiva greatly and he stomped dividing the continents and the demons were forever lost but as he spoke the skies darkened and the earth shook and other figures dressed as demons strode through the crowd These were not masks. This was not a child's tale. As the demons turned to slaughter, Raji tried to reach her brother. He'd been hurt and he was scared, and she knew she must protect him. But in that moment Raji failed for the Garasura demons took Golu from her Raji awake my child
is this place? She is so young. A child. Remember Shiva's words. It is so much weight to put on the shoulders of a mortal. Is this one strong enough? Time will tell. Her brother and the other children had been seized by the Gadasura. I told her that she must be strong. Her journey would be difficult and full of unknowns. I blessed her with the Trishul, my most powerful weapon that Shiva had given to me. This, with Raji's own serenity and strength, would save her brother. She walks boldly into a dark cave. She leaps chasms. She stands fearless before a goddess. Har Har Mahadev! There is fire in her. Yes, it must be tempered. But without that fire, she would have already given up. Many mortals would not be brave enough to climb. Our Raji has no fear of heights. Watch. learning to think and to use the skills of her childhood. It is one thing to climb a pole and quite another to face a demon. To save her brother, Raji must face the demons. She held the Trishul and it was a gift of great power. It was blessed by Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva and would help her stand against her terrible foe.
but it was also a great responsibility. To wield it, she would need strength, courage, and belief. Have any of you seen my brother? The other part. Go, now, before they come back. Are you taking him? Poor child. She will find a way. Hear your pulse, the beating of a war drum. Feel your heart quicken. The strength flow through you. Fight, Raji. Be the warrior. the demon reeling. Now she will bring an end to him. Jai Ma! This door is weaker than the other. And the Trishul is a most versatile weapon. What's this? 
she's a circus performer, Araji. See what she can do. The mandala shows each person their past. There is always a purpose to such visions. myself and Kolu. Amrit Bund, the golden nectar, the fruits of a demon kill. Its power will heal your wounds.
shrine to Kali. Your sister's shrines are fed by violence. Raji can make use of that if she is careful. She begins to learn the Krishna's power. You must admit, she shows promise. She will need battle skills. That is so true. And they will be sorely tested. But that is not what I meant when I asked if she was strong. Look here, Durga. They have captured your own story. Ah, Mahishasura, the shapeshifter, the Buffalo demon, evil incarnate, yet without him you would not have come to me. This is the moment when he was granted the boon by Brahma. No man could kill him. Ah, Mahishasura, the shapeshifter, the buffalo demon. Evil incarnate, yet without him you would not have come to be. This is the moment when he was granted the... And here Mahishasura seized the heavens, unkillable, defeating and driving out all the devas and even Indra himself. Your birth, Durga. The Devas knew it was their only chance to create a being capable of destroying their foe. All their power focused into one body, gifted with all their weapons. I wonder what your first thoughts were. Forced him back. I remember it well. 
you on a lion's back leading the battle line. The devas flocking behind you, inspired with new courage. Mahishasura at bay, forced to take his true form. The monstrous buffalo, stamping and blowing, crushing warriors with his hooves and throwing them into the air with his great horns. The killing blow struck with the threshold in your hand. There was no fear on your face, although Mahishasura had shaken the heavens themselves. The battle light in your eyes, determination on your brow. I knew then what the devas had made, and I knew then what change you would bring to our world. From evil comes great good. Such is the balance of the world. She can feel the foulness of this place. You are surprised? Mahabalasura's demons have warped one of the holy trees of Bhumi Devi. This is why Shiva imprisoned him, to stop such corruption. What is corruption? All things change. The tree showed Raji a vision of Golu, of dark clouds and a gathering storm, threatening destruction on the world. And behind it all, a being of great power and malice. The route is open to the fortress of Jaidar. She is indeed strong. She is. I hope she is strong enough to bear what she finds inside.
The fortress will be a challenge for her. But she is growing into her power. I think Bahabalasura and his demons will soon regret the capture of her brother. Beware of too narrow a focus, Durga. If Mahabalasura triumphs here, then what difference will it make in the long view? You must accept that some things are beyond the ability of mortals to affect. <laughs>
wonder sometimes that perhaps you may have fallen in love with the human race. Civilizations rise and then they fall. I will not see the demons fall, nor the twisted mystic who leads them. What he did to Bhumi Devi was a terrible thing. Who knows what Mahabalasura plans now? I hope that they do not break your heart.
the guards. I can't get down there. Golu! Golu! I am coming! of Jeddar, built by the humans and fought over by demons until the Great Sundering. The defenses are strong. More and more creatures face her. Does he know she follows? Even I cannot tell the mind of Marmarasu. It's a truly beautiful thing. How did it come to be here? A gift, Lord Vishnu? It seems so. This is a marvel. It is surely a weapon of the gods. Thank you, those who watch over me, for sending me such good fortune.
I am surprised, Lord Vishnu. Your bow is a mighty gift. The scales must be balanced, must they not? The girl earned her prize.
This is it. This is where they took the cart. Open! Open up! Let me in! Nothing. What do I do now? Another mandala. Another vision of her past. If she can unlock the memory. Thank <laughs> you. 
had captured the children? What was their purpose? Had Raji known the truth, she may simply have given up. For this being was utterly ruthless, and the very heavens were at risk. It is strange, is it not, that such a child should be born of such a bloodline at exactly the time that is needed. Who can say how such things come about? Not I. Ah, see, they have depicted Shakti's first address to us. I still hear her words echo, even now. I am Adi Parashakti. I am the absolute reality. She told us that she, the eternal font of energy, beyond form and limit, had created us to govern the universe as aspects of a power. Generator of the universe and would 
grow to surpass all Shakti's other forms. One half would become Lord Shiva, destroyer of evil. The other, but you know this, Durga, for the other half was you. Her love strengthens her purpose.
from you. Whatever stands in my way, I am coming for you, little brother. They will not stop me. I won't let them hurt you, I swear. Stand on my side. Ha <laughs> ha 
रहेगा भाई वट एवर कम्स टू अस माँ दुर्गा विल वॉच ओवर अस She has always been one of yours and she's correct. You think too much of this one. She is important. She holds hope for the mortals of the world. Of course I will watch over her. design should have been created as a bastion of war war is the means they are given to change the world they only give it the respect that it is due war is not the only way There it was Golu Why did the demons want him Creature summoned a dark mandala, a portal to another place. Raji rushed to stop them. But the demon chieftain blocked her path. And suddenly Golu was gone.
the demon defeated, the children rushed to thank Raji. But the stone had been weakened by the dark mandala. Perhaps Raji was about to die. Perhaps she had failed. Then the mystics came. They took Raji's body and they carried it away. As Raji drifted, a vision came to her. Who was that with her brother? What did they want? She awoke on the boat, and in the far distance, she could see a city. Great kings of the past had fashioned it, and had given their lives for it. But now the inhabitants were enthralled to a vast, lurking shadow stripped of their own will. The guardians blessed Raji, for she was the only hope for these people. Do I ask too much of her? Time again will tell. White peacock! What can it mean? What are those creatures that chase it? <laughs> the Garuda Gate. But see, Rangda has the soldiers under her spell. A fresh mortal at the gate? Greetings, little fly. Welcome to my web. Thank <laughs> you. 
a city of such beautiful waters, but the waters are now choked with poison. There used to be many more lotus flowers. They always brought me such joy. And Raji can grow more, if only she thinks of it. Recognizes the city built to your glory. Are you not pleased, O Vishnu? It was my city, indeed. Built to house my temple. But it is no longer mine. A great shadow has fallen. Demons of Rangda in my city. Her shadow is long. You must defeat them, Raji. She cannot hear you, but she knows what to do. Mills powered by water, wheels that turn other wheels, that open gates and lift great weights. Jalasura, demons of water, mechanical slaves to Ranga. Careful, careful, Maharaji. Avoid their gaze.
Do you remember what I keep in my temple, Durga? Of course. That gives her a chance. But the way is blocked. Look, the guardian waters are high. There are mechanisms to lower them. But what does she know of cocks and wings? She is clever, this girl. She will find a way. can be put right, Vishnu. It is why we are here. We will grant her another vision of the future. did this being want with Golu? To instruct him? To control him? Raji did not know what I knew. Here lay our greatest peril.
To think that there is fighting even in places of worship. There is worship and fighting if it is for the right cause. a sting. Who is this intruder and why does she dare my wrath?
The waters drain. It is not enough. There is more to do. Another mechanism to find. She must hurry. We do not want Rangda to notice until Raji is prepared. But what about us, Didi? Why do we have no mother, no father? They are up there, in the stars, little brother. Durga is with me. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is a place of cunning. The mills, the water that feeds the green fields. There is no denying it is clever, Vishnu. It is such a concentration of power. And now it is in Ranta's hands. You will not keep me from Golu! It is the story of Garuda. There were two sisters, Kadru and Vinita, the most dear of wives of Maharshi Kashyap. He granted each a boon to show his affection. Kadru asked to become the mother of a thousand sons. Vinita asked for just one son but that he must be more powerful than the thousand sons of Kadru. Blessed by the Maharshi, Kadru gave birth to one thousand eggs. Vinita gave birth to only two eggs. With time, Kadru's eggs began to hatch. Inside each one, was a coiling snake. Vinita, impatient and jealous that her sister's eggs had already hatched, took it upon herself 
to break open one of her own eggs. Inside Vinita's egg was a half-formed bird-like creature. Enraged by his mother's actions, he cursed her saying that she would be a slave to cut through until her second egg hatched. And if she did not show patience with that hatching, she would forever be a slave. And so, under the curse of a half-formed offspring and through the machinations of Kadru and her Naga children, Vedita became a slave to her sister. Years passed until one day Vidita's second egg finally hatched. From it emerged Garuda, the king of birds. Seeing his mother's servitude, Garuda asked the Nagas to free her. They agreed, but on the condition that Garuda would fly to heaven and fetch for them the elixir of immortality. Garuda, for his mother's sake, flew to the heaven of the Devas. He was too powerful for the Devas to defeat and so seized the elixir from them. I saw that Garuda did not want the elixir for himself, and so I manifested myself to him. Because his heart was pure, I granted him the gift of immortality. In return, he granted me the gift of becoming my mount. Should I so desire it, I warned Garuda of the deceptive nature of the Nagas. So Garuda returned to the Nagas with the elixir, but tricked them, telling them that it could only be consumed after they had purified themselves in the holy river. He attacked them unsuspecting as the bathed and ate them up. He freed his mother, Vinita. For safekeeping, Brahma took the elixir and bore it back to the heavens. This is one of the mechanisms that will lower the Guardian waters. Is it too much for her? Cogs and levers. This is no challenge compared to fighting demons.
Lord Vishnu's temple. Well done, Raji. Maybe there I can find help. The waters flow, my poison dispelled. You will suffer for this trespasser.
stand on my side.
blessed Vishnu. I never thought to see such sights. Ah, Raji, you will go further than this and see many more wonders before your time is done. I have no doubt. She will also see terrors. Indeed, this place is beautiful. But at its heart stands the usurper Ramda. I hope Raji is prepared. Reflection in the water. What's that? Golu. No! Golu! Golu! What are they doing to you? Peacock again! It is under attack! Is it following me? Trying to reach for me? I am not scared of you! This little fly has a sting. Who is this intruder? And why does she bear my wrath?
It is not far now, but she will need to climb high. That is something we know she can do. But to face what lies beyond. She is strong, Vishnu, but Ramda is the child eater. My city must be free. Shall not stop me. Ready, Raji. Sword, shield, and heart.
Who dares to hide the dead? I will end you, mortal. <laughs> so, so you, you are the Christmas. Who 
of your heart and lungs, little porter. <laughs> no one else will be a fool. How can this be? And she has triumphed. You said that it would be so, Durga. And yet, so many souls have been lost to Randa's greed. It is a great victory, but Randa was never a clever creature. Now Raji must face the schema behind Ranga. How will she fare against Mahabalasura, who holds her brother's life in his palm? mystic messenger was exhausted. He warned Raji of what lay in his land. A conqueror had come, bringing demons, death and despair. But it was her only way to reach Golu. They must move swiftly. Demon army would do anything to stop Raji reaching the mystic land. The mystic. Badly wounded. Raji must continue on her own. Mayura, you have done all you could. Rest now and be safe.
Mahabala Sura has brought war upon the mystics. His own people. It was inevitable. He tried to lead them, but, but his arrogance took him too far. Raji must be careful. He may still have supporters amongst them. As you say, it is war. And in war, all things are possible. Beware, Raji. These creatures are bred for quickness and stealth. They are weapons of war. In another circumstance, that might please you, Durga. Goddess of war. But not these. These are demons. Trust these mystics, or their chief. Mahabalasura was one of them once. They have been separated from humanity for far too long. The mystics are a part of Lord Shiva's balance in the world. The humans are weakened, and the demons strong. A balance must be restored. Surely now Lord Shiva must act? Look at the damage Mahabalasura has caused, and may yet cause. What makes you think Shiva does not act? What do you think Lord Raji when she was most Why do you think that her brother Guru was the one to be taken? That
will not stand against me. We will not be separated. He stays with me. We will face together whatever is to come. You spoke of Lord Shiva acting. This is his shrine. It is no coincidence that Raji finds herself here. Time.
Lord Shiva, Mahadev, was it you who summoned me to this place? How may I stop this war and save my brother? Mahadev, I will find my way. against her. She must be careful.
shadow of the sun will decide the fate of many a man. Baba, what do our ancestors' words mean? It is the birth of Piplad, an aspect of Lord Shiva. When Piplad was just a young boy, his father Dadichi gave his own bones in sacrifice to the Devas to defeat the Asuras. Piplad asked the Devas why his family should suffer such bad fortune. And they told him it was simply due to the alignment of the planets. Piplar was furious at this fate and cursed Shani of the ringed planet, whose celestial home started to fall from the sky. The Devas interceded, pleading for mercy on Shani, for Piplar to lift the curse. Piplad agreed on the condition that Shani's position would no longer bring trouble on anyone of less than 16 years old. Ah, this is the marriage of Shiva to Sati, which angered Sati's father Daksha greatly. Daksha snubbed the girl and insulted Shiva in public. Sati was unable to bear it and threw herself into the sacrificial fire. Shiva fell into a great rage and pulled a lock of hair from his brow, lashing the ground with it. And there sprang up Virabhadra, fierce warrior of Shiva, who destroyed Daksha and extinguished his fire. Even, even I could not stop him. The birth of Ashwatthama, gifted to his father Drona after many, many years of penance, born with a magical gem in his forehead that made him a mighty warrior. After Drona was killed through trickery, Ashwatthama issued a challenge to Arjuna. Both warriors used mantras to create mighty world-destroying weapons. Arjuna was wise and withheld his weapon, but, but Ashwatthama did not. Instead, directing it at Uttara, Arjuna's daughter-in-law, utterly destroying the lineage of the Pandavas. For that action, Krishna cursed Ashwatthama and cut the gem from his forehead. For thousands of years, he roamed the forests of the world with blood and pus oozing from his injury. It is rumored he walks there still.
There was a time when I was to take from upon the earth as Rama. Lord Shiva was greatly pleased and wished to travel with my avatar in my journey to aid me. But Parvati begged him to stay with her. There was a devoted king, Kesari, of the monkey people who prayed to Shiva for a child. And so, as a means to assist me, and as boon to Kesari, Shiva was born as Kesari's son and became Hanuman, who was helper to my Rama. The mystic homes, they burn. Golu, you are surely too clever to have been hurt. You must be safe. I pray that you're safe. This would have been difficult for her to see, I think. War is not, not pretty. It is destruction and death and bone and blood. It will not be pleasant, yet she must learn the extent of her enemy's malice. come sooner. I could have saved them. What monstrous person did this?
needed to be seen. She must know what Mahabala Sura is capable of. I am sorry, Raji. Her quest is no longer just for her brother, but for all who suffer this evil. The entire village of the mystics was under threat. This conqueror would stop at nothing. Would destroy centuries of history and learning. The mystic chieftain was forced to give up the scroll he had kept secret for so long. The mystics will not survive Mahabalasura's attack for long. She must be swift. the Naga. He is a demi-god. This is not her foe. This is the guardian of the land of the mystics. He is enraged by the corruption 
by the taint of this invasion. She must win his trust. Calm this, Gajan.
The chieftain's life was in peril. She stepped forward and finally faced her foe. She struck the invader, but his answering blow wounded her and threw her to the ground. Her foe was shocked. Raji had hurt him. That should have been impossible. Golu saw his chance and he ran to his sister as their enemy disappeared. Raji was near death. But here she was among the mystics, most knowledgeable practitioners of magic. They could not save her, then no one could. Finally, she was with Golu, but this could not last. Before, I don't Didi. know if you can save me. Please don't lose me again. There's no time. Please, sister. I need you. Please. Raji, I need you. Can't you find me? Maybe you aren't strong. My sister, I don't think you will reach me in time. Why are we so far apart? You lost me before, Didi. Didi, please don't lose me again. I don't know if you can save me. You lost me before, Didi. I think you, you will reach, reach me. me in time. Please don't lose me again. If only you try.
mystic chieftain warned her. Their enemy was Mahabalasura, the outcast, the most powerful mystic ever born. The scroll that he had stolen held a mantra to rip open the gates of the Dev Heavens. Raji was the only one with the power to stop him before he tore apart the world. So this is where they sent me. This can only be the deserts of Thar. How will I find the gate? This place is said to be infinite. Yet she will find it. And she will face Mahabalasura. And she will overcome him. He is full of tricks, that one. I believe he has a deeper strategy. Raji must be careful, but she must also be swift. distance. That is the gate. I'm sure of it. I need not have worried. These mystics know what they're about. Indeed, there they lie. The gates to Dev Bhumi. This is so strange. I have walked here before. Have I not? What is this place? Why does it feel so familiar? One last blessing, my child, before you face your foe in battle. War is my domain, and you are now no stranger to it. But may my words strengthen your bones. May they armor your skin, and grant might to your limbs. And know that I am proud, for your heart is already as strong as can be.
shining tree. I have seen all this before. Somehow, it feels like a part of me. It is all I may do at this place, in this time. Thank you, Lord Vishnu. You grant a gift of most celestial power. Mahabalasura is no weakling. Let us hope it will be enough. Thank you, Lord Vishnu. She wields the chakra as one born to it. The chakra is bound to the heart of its wielder. If your heart is pure, it will act as an extension of your will. If your heart is corrupt, it will destroy you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Finally, Raji faced Mahabalasura and he revealed the extent of his power. She must call upon everything that she had learned to defeat him. Even Pumi could kill me, nor can you. I have the gods at my side. We'll get to the Deva Realm. I will make them pay. You have tasted my power. You know I can hurt you.
been slain. And for what crime? Why should the world die for your vengeance? Her enemy had copied himself. Mahabalasura was on every side. Raji could not see the truth, that this was just a diversion. <laughs> Mahabalasura had escaped Raji and stood at the gates, reciting the mantra. But why? And then, another voice took up the chant. Golu. It was too late. Although Raji still fought, the gates to the Dev Heavens now stood open. Mahabalasura's design had come to pass, and Golu had been the key. Now what horror would be unleashed on the world? <laughs>